Have you ever been interested in knowing how much a biotechnologist here in Germany makes? So in this video, we'll be breaking down the salary of biotechnologists here in Germany. So we'll be looking at numbers like who earns the least, who earns the most, what's the starting salary of a biotechnologist, and how much a student and a full-time experienced biotechnologist can earn in a company. And then we will compare the average salary of a non-biotech worker and a minimal, minimal wage salary to the salary of biotechnologists. So let's get into it. Hey guys, and welcome to the biotech channel. I'm a biotechnologist from Germany, and I'm trying to make content and promote the field that I love so much. So if you're interested in biotechnology as well, hit that subscribe button to join the community. Without any further ado, let's look at the numbers. So the starting salary or the salary in general depends on a lot of different factors for biotechnologists. Things like your qualifications, your work experience, and or which type of company you're working at and also the location of your company plays sometimes a big part in how much how much your starting salary at that company is going to be for example here in germany we have 16 states and depending on which state you're working in your starting salary at that company in that state could be very different from other states for example there could be a difference of up to 20 to 30 percent and that's a huge difference so if you look at the salary map from 2017, when I hold the mouse on this city map, you guys can see the average salary in that city. The salary situation hasn't changed much. The difference remains, like the percentage of the difference remains still the same. As you can see, there's a huge difference in the salaries. And in some cases, it's more than 50%. If you want to see the average salary in a specific German city, just go to site.de. But this also applies to the salary of biotechnologists. The average starting salary for biotechnologists here in Germany is around 3.5 thousand euros. And that is if you have a master's degree. And depending on the size of your company, you may be able to earn around 3,300. And with some job experience, you might end up earning five to 6,000 or maybe more. If we look at another estimate for biotechnologists, as you guys can see, after doing your master's, you could end up earning 42,000 euros in one year. And again, size of the company matters, but we'll leave that aside for a minute. With some work experience, and in a biotech company, we're talking about like five to six years, you can end up earning like 52,000 per year. And this is if you're an employee, if you're like working in the lab as a scientist or as a researcher, but if you're like at a better position, for instance, if you're a CEO or if you're the head of a project, then you might end up earning 85 to 95 thousand euros in a year. And if you're like responsible for the personnel, then you might end up earning even more up to like 130 thousand. I mean, of course, this all comes with time, like with, with work experience and working like year after year, then you might end up at such a high position. And here you can see the average salary of biotechnologists in all the states of the country. Here's a platform that shows you how much you can earn in your profession. So like 50% of biotechnologists here in Germany earn around 6,400 per month and 25% of them earn less than 5,000 and 25% earn 7,000 or more in a month. And you have to remember like with all the deductions, it's going to be 35% less. So you have to calculate that point as well. And with time, with more job experience, you can earn a really good amount of money. And here you can see a better overview of how much people earn as biotechnologists in different states. And according to StepStone, biotechnologists earn on average 49,700 euros in a year. And that's with little to no working experience, like a qualified biotechnologist earns this much in a year. And the salary that I'm showing you, it's before the tax deductions. It's not the amount that you're going to get. There's going to be tax deductions and then you'll get your end and for like single guy who doesn't have any kids he's gonna have like in total 30 to 35 percent deductions like if you're earning 3500 per month you're gonna get approximately 2400 in your account and that's after all the tax deductions and all like there's a whole other list of insurances and other things so you're gonna get like 65 percent of the amount that you earned now let's take a look at the average salary of a working biotechnologist like what do biotechnologists in general, like regardless of work experience or starting or at what position you're at? So let's take a look at that. So the numbers that we saw from reliable sources, they're, you can say they're approximately right because I have a friend of mine who has completed her bachelor's degree and she works at a biotech company and earns around 3,600 and her starting salary was 3,600. 
So those numbers were approximately right. Yes, in some cases they may fluctuate. The average salary of a worker here in Germany is around 3,100. So like there are people who earn less than that and there are people who earn more than that. And if you consider the average salary of biotechnology is like 3,500. So it means that in on average, the starting salary of biotechnologists is really great. It's like 400 more than the average salary of workers here in Germany. Conclusion, biotechnologists earn good. Now you have like a basic idea what you can earn as biotechnologists here in Germany. But everything we saw that was like just for working, like if you're an employee at a company, that's how much you earn. But there are other biotechnologists like professors. There are biotechnologists that have their own company and how much does a student biotechnologist earns? So let's talk about the students first. As a student here in Germany, as biotechnologist student, if you go to a biotech company and you get a like a student job, you might uh, you might end up earning from 12 to 18 euros per hour. So as a student, you're allowed to work like on up to 80 hours. You can work less, but not more. So 80 hours a month, you'll be working and you can earn like 12 to 18 euros. So the minimum wage here in Germany is 9 point something euros, depending on which state you're in. And, and again, there are some states where you can earn a little bit less and there are states where the minimum wage is a little bit higher. So in most states, it's around 10, okay? So in an hour in, here in Germany, you can earn 10 euros. That's the minimum wage. So if as biotechnology student, you can earn 12 to 18. And if you take like the average 15 euros, that's like 50% more, so it's really good. I'll, con I'll consider that really, really good. So there are like big companies like Merck here in Germany who pay more to students as compared to like a local small company. So the thing you'd have to keep in mind that as a student, you can earn 12 to 18 and on average 15 euros per hour. But, but there are people, are biotechnologists who have their own company, so we're not going to talk about them because... I really have no idea, but we are going to talk about biotechnologists who are teachers and professors. So first of all, as a professor, you earn a really good amount of money here. You can earn more than in a lab. Like we have professors here at our university who earn like seven to 8,000 and, and some professors like head, like head of our biotech department, head of our faculty, he, he earns around 10,000. I have heard, I mean, it's not official, but I've heard like he earns 10,000 in a month. So there are biotechnologists who earn really good as professors. I mean, yes, you can count like they've been teaching for 15 to 20 years, but still that's a good amount of money. There's a professor of ours who worked at a project at a company. So he told us the story that um, he went to a shampoo company, like a shampoo company, first of all, contacted him and he went there. He directed their project okay so th there was like a shampoo formula and they had a project he led that team so he got like hundred thousand euros from that production so the pri the point i'm trying to make like as biotechnologists if you're really good at it you can go to a company in a uh, on a project or something and get a really good share from that profit so there are also other professors who go to a company do a little bit of research make a formula and then hand it over to the workers at that company and got a really good share of money from that company. So there are like not only one, but also many other streams of income in, as biotechnologists. And here in Germany, we also have companies who like let you invest in stocks. So you can do, you can always do that. But other than that, I don't know if there is any other stream of income. And if there is, please let me know in the comment section. But there are also professions who earn way more than biotechnologists like doctors, and mechanical engineers. But anyway, let's not talk about that. So we just discovered how much biotechnologists earn and they earn really good. And like the starting salary of biotechnologists is really good. So I'm happy with that. Anyway, that was it for this video. I hope you guys got a better idea of how much biotechnologists here in Germany earn. If not, let me know in the comment section and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.